biomarkers are key to diagnosing diseases. The, perhaps the most famous example of this is glucose for the diabetic patient. But biomarkers are, are like a key to a door. And behind this door, we don't know whether or not we're healthy or diseased. But with that biomarker information, we can gather some rich content about our health status. John has explained to me the particular chips that he's using, that, that he's, he's working with chips that can potentially diagnose patients who are suffering a heart attack in the emergency room. Currently, um, treating patients in the emergency room is one of the highest costs that we have in the healthcare system, and particularly heart attacks, because heart disease is the leading killer of Americans, and because of that, it accounts for a large proportion of our health care costs. If we can identify these patients quickly so we can avoid particular um, aggressive diagnostic um, tests further on down the road, for example, cardiac catheterizations and all these procedures cost tens of thousands of dollars to the healthcare system. If there is a potential to avoid those um, very high costs by instead using a relatively low cost diagnostic chip, that's a tremendous opportunity to, to provide better care for patients and at the same time lower our health care cost growth. Well, in, in the U.S. and also globally, the world's biggest killer right now is cardiac heart disease. And in too many situations, people don't know they have cardiovascular disease. First symptom they get is they die. The critical thing to recognize in a heart attack is if we're able to open the culprit vessel, within an hour, we salvage the heart muscle, and thus the patient's survival is significantly improved. Okay, here's, here is the result from the analysis of a sample collected from a chest, chest pain patient recruited at the Houston VA hospital, which was further validated as being a heart attack victim. As you can see here, the lab on a chip system that we have developed here in the McDavid lab is capable of easily diagnosing this heart attack case by the elevation in the levels of the biomarker cardiac troponin I, the gold standard biomarker for the diagnosis of heart attack. If you compare the levels of the cardiac troponin I in these same nine beats, when the same biomarker is evaluated from a sample collected from a non case, a patient, a chest pain patient that was uh, uh, found to be not a heart attack. You, you can actually see the levels of cardiac troponin I to be significantly reduced. The potential implications of developing these new bio nanochips are, are huge from a cost perspective. Think microelectronics and what it has done for our society. It's, it's severely reduced the cost of, of new computer chips. Medicine's going the opposite direction, increasing at an exponential rate. We can project that through the marriage of microelectronics and these new uh, diagnostic devices that will have a similar decrease in the cost of health care going forward. These bio nano chip systems are programmable. Like the computer chip where you bring in software, we can retask the core infrastructure, this diagnostic platform to go from one disease to the next disease to the next disease. This has empowered us now to move quickly and efficiently into six clinical trials. This is the only place in the world where this is happening right now. We are now at Rice University, positioned right across the street from the world's largest medical center. We're in a beautiful new $300 million building described as the Bioscience Research Collaborative. This is a dream location for us to program these bio nano chips so that they can go from disease to disease to disease. The exciting thing about John is, 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 is health economists always think that medical technology leads to higher costs. And, and it's good, those are, those are higher costs that lead to, to health benefits, but this is a chance to have technology that not only leads to a health benefit, but actually will slow the rate of growth of healthcare costs. That's what's so exciting. This just, this doesn't happen very often. We usually think of technology, well, it's, it's a high price, but it's worth it. 
And in this case, this is, this is, well, you know, this can potentially save us money in the long run and lead to better health and save us costs. So it, it really is a win-win situation.